Oh, it still hasn't pinged, huh? That's a bit slow to me. Hello, Deo. Don't mad at mad at you. All right, but tell you to. Soren, thanks for the six months in a row. Six months? Oh, you're a new badge. Six months gets you a new badge, right? I forget my badge order now. <laughs> I think you. Six months? Yeah, six months does get you a new badge. Oh, you're a blue ox now. Mazers. Mazers? Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Kiani, hello, hello. Easy sleep. Hello. Music. Oh, shoot, sorry. Music loud, yes. Music should be better now. Sorry about that. <laughs> Yo, I don't I don't forget to tweet now. I I tweet in the right time. I'm still still trying to figure out twi Twitter. Twitter's hard. Uh Pinky <laughs> Pinky Bartle, thank you so much for the three months in a row with the tier one sub. Uh, isn't this pretty much going to be the exact same feel as in your old video? Pretty much, yes, pretty much, yes. Hoping to uh, recreate that. Where can I find a desk pad like yours? Uh, if you're looking for this specific one, you can just Google search uh, cherry spec sheet desk mat desk pad should come up pretty easily. But if you check out some of the sponsors I have linked in my panel, uh, they have other kinds of cool desk mats. We're actually going to unbox a desk mat first. I just got a package from Novel Keys. Pretty sure I bought a desk mat, so. We're gonna unbox something first. Jerwin, yeah, I did see. <laughs> Thanks for the shout out, Jerwin. If I join NRG, will you lube my switches? <laughs> Olivia, yeah. If you if you join NRG, I'll lube your switches. If you're not in a rush, I'll lube your switches, but my queue's kind of long for lubing switches right now. <laughs> Did the bot still not ping? Should I just ping the server myself? Bot is super late today. Did I get a haircut? I did. I got a haircut in preparation for KeyCon. I try to get a haircut two weeks before any major thing. Not crucial. Thank you so much for the two months in a row. The bot is trying his best. Fire the bot. Maybe I should just get the Twitch bot. Like, Me Seeks is pretty bad with pinging. But, like, the dedicated Twitch bot, I feel. The, the, the official Twitch bot is relatively. Quicker. Thugly, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. See, I can't give mods the power to ping everyone. Either everyone has power to ping everyone or no one. <laughs> <clears throat> if it, I'll, I'll ping the server. This is pretty late, so I'm gonna guess it's not even gonna ping. Everyone, building a keyboard for NRG Dizzy right now. Is there an Olivia desk mat? I already own both Olivia, so I didn't buy more. I already own. I bought both before. I did not read to. 
I did not need to get it during the restock. Sphero, thank you so much for the two months in a row. Mizu? No, well, Mizu wouldn't be coming from novel keys. Mizu is being done through Dixie Mech, so. Packaging. <laughs> Packaging is false. How's everyone Saturday? <sighs> Bot fail. <laughs> would you ever build a hand wire keyboard? I would not. <laughs> Only only reason I would hand wire something is for a vintage keyboard. Other than that, I would not hand wire. <laughs> Aloed, thank you so much for the three months in a row. New haircut, thanks. Thanks, godlike ogre. Wait, did the bot just ping? Oh no, the double ping. <laughs> Rip. Wait, how did you do that, Soran? What kind of role is that? What? You can give roles permission to ping- Oh, you- Wait, no? Wait, yeah, mods already have the power to mention everyone. I already gave you that. Wait, yeah, I already gave mods Permission to ping everyone. It's already checked. If I go to roles, mods can mention everyone. All right. I need to change the channel setting. Okay, I, I allowed mods to ping everyone. Azalee Joe, thank you so much for the tier 1 sub. Right. I wasn't expecting to unbox anything, but... Package, surprise package came, so... Is that the Grove Maid? Yeah, this is the Grove Maid knife. I've been using it. Make me mod? Do you actually want to mod my server, Nick? You enjoy modding. Are you in my server, Nick? I I know you left, came back a couple times. My father is here with me seeing you. Oh, whoa. You have the brass one? Ooh, I was thinking about the brass one. The brass one looks more traditional, but I decided to go with the black one ultimately. Thanks for the nine months in a row. Whoa. I think I bought two. Is this 200 or 300? I think this is 200 creams. I forgot how much I bought. Gotta stock up on the creams while you can. And then we have the GMK Hamon. Desk mat. 
짜잔 Yo, this is a nice desk mat too This is a nice desk mat It's super red though I wish it was less red <laughs> It's pretty red in person too Yeah, it's very vibrant I feel like it'll be hard it's not as neutral of a desk mat. You have to coordinate it with your desk setup, but if you can incorporate it, it looks really nice. I like the hexagonal design pattern. Where's the best place to buy 7U spacebar kits for a reasonable price? For keycaps plus plume or stabilizers? Yeah, my, my camera color science is not the best. Which desk mat do you like more? Hamon with meats or this one? I think... I like bacon. I might like the meats one better. Just because the meats one is so unique might like the meats one better. What's a good 100 to 150 dollar keyboard to buy? Uh, I have a list of pre-built keyboards you c I recommend on Amazon. And if you do exclamation gear, it should tell you, it should link you to my Amazon storefront. Sushi, hello! This mat is really loud. Yeah, it's definitely really loud. Should I pull out my other Hamon desk mat? You guys want to see a comparison? Nefarious Trav, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. You guys ready? To I think this is the most number of creams I've ever seen in a single bag. <laughs> this is no, no, not, not a good smell. <laughs> It's not a good smell, but... Like, you guys know those, like, sm some Something about musky smells. Like, it's not good, but you also come back for it. For some odd reason. This is one of those. Like, it's not good. It's musky. But you just come back. But the, the switches though, creams are fantastic switches. Oh, oh I feel dizzy now. So too much sniffing. start the main attraction of today's stream I don't know if Hey Tayo, your stream is so chill. I love the music. Comrade, thank you so much for the 200 bits.
I, I let Mr. Dizzy know that we'd be building it today, but he is probably a very busy person. Not everyone wants to sit through a three hour build stream, but today we are building a keyboard for a very, very important person. Uh, how was your recovery from the subathon? I'm, I'm pretty much recovered now, yeah. If you guys don't know who Dizzy is, he is a professional Apex Legends pro, probably one of the best Apex Legend players right now. Uh, Kaija Gogo, thank you so much for the four months in a row. Um, yeah, I don't know how he found me. But he somehow, the legend himself somehow found me and we just kind of, I think I slid into his DMs, reaching out to him if he wanted a build and he linked me a video and that was all that I needed to hear. He just linked me my feel video and he said can you recreate this exactly i said i will try my best <laughs> to recreate it i don't know if it, I, I don't know if i can recreate it i don't know what i did to it but let's do it so i did i somehow luckily managed to source a gray feel I thought fields would be pretty easy to come by, they're not. But luckily I managed to source one in pretty great condition. So this is what the gray feel looks like. What keycaps are you going to use? Uh, we can decide today with chat. I don't know. Oh, well, I do know what Dick Dizzy is going to use, but whatever we do is just going to be in chat. Clicky Crisp, hello. Oh, that's a new username. Who is this person? Hello, hello. Hey, Nay, son. Been listening what? for a little under. I want to say thank you for all the knowledge. Just built my first keyboard with a top DJ 60 with MX Cherry Black that I loved myself. I love it. Loving the happy so far. Hey, Master Macaroni. Thank you so much for the ten dollar tip. Whoa! I uh, just bought my first keyboard with a Tofu Plus DZ60. Nice. And you lubed it yourself. Nice. I'm I'm going to guess now that you felt lubed switches, you cannot go back to unlubed switches. Yo, Dan, hello, hello. Yeah. Oh, uh, actually, before we start, I should give... There might be people who don't know what video we are talking about. So I should bring that up. Pause this. Can I share my This is the video I was sent. Oh no, by Dizzy. So we're gonna try to recreate this today. So step one, we somehow successfully managed to source a gray feel. Great feel. <clears throat> All right. Master Macaroni gifted a dear user to G. This is their first gift sub in the channel. Well, Master Macaroni, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Z zero zero zero. Yeah. So it was. Yeah, feel, feel. Step, reply to your messages. What messages? 
Discord? Oh, you're talking about Facebook? <laughs> Yo! <laughs> South Korean Frodo, hello! I love your sub badges at Switches, yeah. Hello, hello. Part two, we needed the Switches. Done. So these aren't the exact holy pandas. These are, but they are pretty close. No, I. Yak pandas. Everyone asks, do you need OG holy pandas? Uh, no, you don't. Yak pandas are pretty much almost like 98% identical. If you were to give them t to a veteran and make them blind test the difference between an OG panda and a Yawk panda, I would bet that no one could tell the difference. So I lube these myself. Uh, Cake11352, thank you so much for the two months. I lube these myself with Trubosis3204. I used the stock spring from the Yawk Panda. So yeah, these are the switches. It is rare I lube switches for someone, but when someone like Dizzy reaches out to you, you can't you can't turn down a request like that. I don't know, keyboards were this intense is so interesting. Yeah. Pudzy, you know what I'm gonna say? You want me to put you in, huh? Yeah, I don't wanna call you in Pudzy. <laughs> You're gonna make my viewers drop today, Pudzy. <laughs> Alright. And once again, this is for Dizzy. So when you when you give a keyboard to Dizzy, you don't just give him a cheapo PCB. You give him the best 60% PCB you can find. And that is the Zeal 60 PCB. This PCB alone is like $120 or something like that. So yeah, thankfully I managed to source a DZ60, a Zeal60 PCB, sorry. Zeal60 PCB, 130F. How much is that? So this, this purple PCB you're seeing here, Clicky Crisp, this alone is like 120, 30 bucks. Just this PCB. These stabilizers here, probably another 13, no, not 13, probably another 20 ish, 30 bucks. The case, this case varies depending on where you get it from. Should have gotten DZ60 for Dizzy. <laughs> Does have a nice ring to it for dizzy but uh is he going split right shift i am going to split right shift um but full backspace i'm going to guess he wants full backspace and we're just gonna go standard ansi bottom row so that's that and then of course if you are building a holy panda build with a feel you have to go brass brass plate this is the only way to go for a holy panda feel build in my opinion so yeah these are I think this is all we need for the build I do need one extra stab so I bought this used and it was built with Helios I desoldered those so that's why it still has the stabilizers in here we're gonna see how good these stabs are. See if I could still use it or if I need to provide my own stabs. But yeah, this is this is what's on the menu for today, guys. Oh, so heavy. I don't, have we weighed a feel on stream? Let us weigh this feel. We have some new people. So if you guys are curious. How much this keyboard weighs so this is here's a size reference I have a iPhone 
XS Max. So it's not, it's like two iPhones-ish worth. A little less than two iPhones. It's unbuilt. This keyboard weighs. Weighs four pounds, 11.3 ounces. So almost five pounds unbuilt. So we're gonna add switches, keycaps on top of this. I'm just gonna bump it over the five pound range for sure. So yeah, that's just a, it's a... Are there any like off the shelf keyboards you can buy that weigh five pounds? No, right? I'd probably say off the shelf keyboards you can buy, they're probably like three pounds at most. Yes, there's an off the shelf keyboard you can buy that's five pounds. IKBC Alu, okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. I have a Shine 7 and I think it is three pounds. So this is probably a sin to the keyboard community, but how are stock Razer keyboards? Oh wait, this does not use USB-C. Uh, Razer keyboards, they're not the worst thing in the world. But they are, they are pricey. You are definitely overpaying for Razer keyboards. But yeah, if you guys remember, I went to the Razer store not too long ago. Yeah, the, the keyboards were not bad. It's a lot better than I remember, their latest one. Not the, definitely not the best sounding or the feeling, but there are worse key oh, shh, there are worse keyboards out there. <laughs> okay, this is bright F. <laughs> Flashbang. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty bright. <laughs> I always forget this comes with the RGB on by default. <laughs> Alright, let's so when I tested this, it worked. Uh, I'm going to hope that my desoldering job was fine. Don't think I lifted any pads or the likes. Oh my eyes, I can't read chat. <laughs> Is that a Christmas tree? Is the Zeal 60 on VIA? Do you guys know? Can I use VIA with this? I'm, I'm going to hope it is on VIA because it has the Wilbur logo. Chat, I think chat is saying yes. It is, nice, I think. So this already has caps lock programmed as control. Nice. F, G, H. Oh my gosh, my eyes are. It's getting blurry. It's too bright. Exposed. get to show via <laughs> right shift works right windows right menu right control oh, I'm gonna guess this is also an FN key 
the person it, it did work everything did work it's been a while since i tested it okay so everything works oh my eyes nice Okay, so we need to do one more stab at the minimum, hopefully at the max. Okay. So once again, when someone like Dizzy reaches out to you, one does not simply give them cheapo $2 GMK screw and stabs. You have to hit them with the $4 per zeal stabs. Not the, not the cheapo EPBT stabs. Authentic, genuine, not stolen zeal stabs. <laughs> to be fair though, if you want to recreate the exact feel build I did, hey. Kiba Food, thank you so much for the two months in a row. I did use zeal stabs for that YouTube video, so. You're not incorrect. I didn't lube my stabs with Crytox 205 though. I wonder if... I don't think that'll affect the sound. I did use dielectric grease for mine. Alec, hello! This guy, Alec, how's he gonna use not my Teha Hai in my own chat? He's fired. Mods fire him. Who this guy? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Was nice being a mod. <laughs> Both Ed and LB. Welcome guests anytime. Is there a difference between the Permatex Grease and Crytox Lube for stabs? Uh, if you do it right, no difference. They function pretty much the same way. One is significantly cheaper. One is marginally better. Oh wait, this is already lubed. Ooh, this is lubed already. Hold on. It might have been poorly lubed. So let's let's see how bad these sound <laughs> and feel. Does having magnetic tip tools affect the keyboard like electronically? Um, I don't think the magnetic, the magneticism, oh shoot, of your tool is strong enough to affect the PCB at all. I've used magnetically tipped tools my whole career never had an issue you're gonna need a lot bigger of whatever field or what i don't know the correct term for it to affect it i think as long as your drivers aren't creating em pulses emp pulses or something like that i don't think you need to worry too much Oh, 
Oh, this is tight. EMF? Oh, whoops, sorry. Clearly, I am not a electronic expert. A uh, fake embryo. Thank you so much for the 250 bits. Glad to see your black and normal schedule. Have a good day. Thank you for stopping by. Yeah, going to be back on the normal schedule now. Oh, this is using a seven. This is using a seven U. Okay, so we're gonna have to redo the space bar. All right, but we can still check how good it is. Uh, 7U is better, yes, and Dizzy is planning on using or planning on purchasing a keycap set that does support 7U, but um, I mean, unless you're a super heavy enthusiast, probably better to go 625. What is seven U? Um, so if you're in the if you're in the community or in the hobby, you'll see seven U, two U, two point two five U, one U. You'll see these kind of numbers thrown around. Uh, one U basically stands for the width or length of a single switch. So that is the scale we talk about. So a spacebar. The two popular lengths for spacebars are either. 6.25 or 7u you can see the difference so that's what we mean by 625 or 7u space bars okay the, these stabs are not good <laughs> we're gonna need to do all of these stabs Knock. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Yeah, so depending on which spacebar you want to use, you need a different stabilizer. This is a 625 spacebar. This is a 7U spacebar. So depending on which one you go with, you need to install a different stabilizer. Analog Baka, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. If you purchase a off-the-shelf keyboard, it will most likely have a 625 spacebar. Which is why I'm building a 625 for this. Oh. Do you like split backspace better? I don't like split backspace. <laughs> or sorry. I... I couldn't understand the uh, the advantage of split backspace i can see why people do it but i think the i personally like the look of full backspace a lot better than split backspace and the the advantage that split backspace offers for me functionally um is outweighed by the aesthetic of full backspace.
also because you're a TKO guy. No, like I, like I can appreciate being able to hit backspace here instead of up here. But like for me, this isn't that big of a difference. Like I, I can definitely feel it. But like it's not, it's not so great of a difference versus like having caps lock gas control where that's that's a huge jump right there. But for for the pinky for here to here, not too big of a difference for me. So I would rather preserve the superior aesthetics of full backspace in my opinion. And I rarely use the pipe key or the tilde key. I mean, I use it, but like I don't use it enough to the point I need them as dedicated keys. I don't mind programming those into, uh, I don't mind programming those into secondary layers or the likes. I agree, I like the look of both split and not split. Yeah, it is. It is preference. Preference. I have no idea what these were lubed with. I'm going to sleep, have a nice build. Hope it sounds perfect. Hey, thanks for stopping by, future. Didn't know you were in chat. Hope you have a good night. <laughs> it's an appearance thing? That's a good one. Code Mayhem. I think that's the first time I've seen it used like that. That's pretty big brain. Using the NCE to end words with like that. Okay, let's go through each of the stabs. Okay, it does look like the housing was lubed, but I think the wires need a little bit more. <laughs> I'm pretty on the fence about what keep. <laughs> That's a pretty good one too, Morn. It's a pretty good one. Ooh, that's too much. Tofu is better than 5 degrees. I agree with Poner. I personally don't like the look of the 5 degrees. Uh, SN2G, thank you so much for the two months in a row. And JJ Soviet, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Yeah, I don't I don't like the uh, whatever angled business was attempted with the five degree. I don't think that looks really good. Doctor Unconscionable, thank you so much for the three months in a row. You have a new sub badge now. I predict it'll continue. <laughs> You guys are coming up with some creative ways to use those emotes. Crossfire, thank you so much for the three months in a row as well. <laughs> oh my gosh. So these were already lubed before. So I'm going to try to not put as much as I normally do.
how's everyone's Saturday? Anyone traveling for Memorial Day weekend? Good, Jerwin says. That's good. I spent my morning desoldering this build and another build. Need to go get some coffee. Now I'm streaming. How did the Dizzy build come about? Uh, it just kind of happened. <laughs> he was in my... I don't know how he was in my chat, but he was in my chat during one of my streams. And then we just kind of talked from there. Yeah, I have no idea how someone like Dizzy found me, but very, uh, very fortunate that it happened. Saturday was great. Managed to wake up before 12 o'clock. Nice. Guess he was interested in keyboards. I mean, just because you're interested in keyboard doesn't mean you find me, though. Albi mentioned... No, Albi did not mention me to Dizzy. I don't think. Watch the Holy Panda typing. But just be, if you search mechanical keyboards on YouTube, I don't think my Holy Panda video comes up. I'm pretty sh Actually, I've never done that. What, what are the top searches when you search mechanical keyboards on YouTube? I don't think my videos would pop up. Pretty sure it's some other... Probably a Linus video, probably. Ah, the other day feels bad. <laughs> that is to be expected though. Tay Keyboards is a much bigger YouTube channel than I am. Significant. He almost he more than doubles me on YouTube, but he also has that audience reach. I do not. I actually found you from a Linus video. How did you find me from a Linus? Wait, what? Oh, you mean like recommended after a Linus video? Pretty sure Linus hasn't mentioned me in his video. No way Linus would notice me. He's also friends with Mendo who has a custom tofu build. So maybe Men Mendo, that's he's a Twitch streamer, right? Mendo? That sounds familiar. He also plays Overwatch Apex. I see. Yeah, Mendo is a pretty big twist streamer as far as I know. Are these zeal stabs? Yes, these are zeal stabs. I found you through searching keyboards on Twitch because I was looking for a building stream late at night. See, but that that's very rare, Sakonas. No one 
no one goes on Twitch to search up keyboard build streams. <laughs> like if you are at that stage where you are searching for keyboard build streams, then you already most likely know the other like aspects of the keyboard community. Like if you are on Twitch hoping to find a keyboard stream, you are already probably deeply in the mechanical keyboard subreddit and the hobby. <laughs> Someone on the Australian Mechies Discord linked your stream, that's how I found you. I see. Found you from Beast Troll, I see. Yeah, I've gotten pretty close with Beast Troll, it's pretty cool. I know you by Sardosh, ooh. If only Sardosh was American. I don't understand most of his stream. <laughs> his French is very sexy though. Found... I almost read that Kiwi. <laughs> you almost got me there. Uh, do you ever find it difficult switching between different layouts? Tim Bob asks. Um, for me personally, no. It takes me like a couple... M I can honestly adjust to different layouts within a couple minutes, as long as it's not like super crazy. Um, ortho, ortho, I would definitely require adjusting to. I don't have that much experience with ortho, but... In terms of switching between most of the standard and common layouts, I can do that within a matter of minutes. It's not like instantaneous, but yeah. But that might not be the case for everyone. Do you know how your M60 Apaka switches blew up? I have no idea. I don't know why that's my most watched video. Sorry, I drank something. There you go, chat. Okay, let's see how these stabs sound and feel now. Bye. Thank you for stopping by. someone yes I do have uh, housemates
You thought I lived alone this whole time? Nope. Are they students? One of them is a grad student. The other is not. planning on building a GMK as my first mech. I think it's okay since building a custom keyboard. Custom ISO keyboard is kind of hard and expensive. So I don't know if it is worth putting really good and expensive switches in a GMMK. No idea how good the GMMK is though. Well, a GMMK is hot swap. So you could always reuse it in a future build if you ever upgrade to a better, nicer keyboard. Dink! Uh, comrade, thank you so much for the 100 bits. What are your opinion on Otemu Silent Skies? Otemus to me feel whatever. Um, if you're on a budget, I guess if that's all you can afford, then go for it. Um, in terms of a tactile feel, they have a pretty, they have a pretty nice tactile feel. Uh, the one thing I don't like about Otemus are that they are kind of scratchy. They aren't the smoothest switches out there. Even with Lou, they're not that smooth compared to other switches. And Mongo likes candy. Thank you so much for the tier one sub. So one thing I noticed about this PCV, it's labeled on the top. That's so big brain. I wish more keyboards did this or more PCBs did this. And it even labels like where you should put it for a 7U versus a 625U. Um, 
yeah i wish i wish more keyboards or more pcbs did this it's not necessary but like having it on the bottom row that is very helpful i mean like the alphas is pretty self-explanatory where you should put it for the alpha but yeah definitely helps for the bottom row at least but when you are paying 100 20 plus dollars for a PCB, hopefully you would expect something like this. It's a nice little quality of life thing that makes your hundred dollars feel a little bit more worth. Mongo likes candy, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Are we gonna need finger condoms? No, I don't think we're gonna need finger condoms. kidding no we don't wait you can't even see them after switches no I know I mean it's supposed to be covered but like here it tells you if you are building it with a 7u layout switch goes there and there was a 625 label underneath this switch so I mean you should still check with keycaps before you fully solder and mark what? Nuo... Hey, I know Nuo Zia. What? Thank you so much for the 1000 bits. Hello, hello. <sighs> okay, this is a little tight. I think we are good. Mech 27, hello. Yeah, but it, but it also has it labeled on the other side. So this is this is useful when let's let's say um, I ended up soldering and one of the switches is dead and I have to replace it. Like if it's labeled on the back, I know exactly which switch to this desolder. Like let's say the U switch needs to be desoldered, right? It's labeled, so I can just desolder this. Otherwise, I have to count from one of the ends. Oh, this is QWRTYUs right here. Well, once again, it's not a huge thing. It's just a minor quality of life thing. But oh sh it is appreciated when it exists. Dang it. Or keycaps, GMK Oblivion. Dizzy, Dizzy literally wants to recreate my Fiel build. Uh, the one thing he won't have is the Shishi, the graphite Shishi, but it's not the end of the world. Two, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Are there any premium hot swap PCBs you could recommend? The only premium hot swap PCB is probably the one in the M60, but I don't think that's universal. Um, Instant 60, oh yes, Instant 60 is pretty nice. We built one up. Is it for sale though? I don't know if Instant 60 is for sale yet. Is it? I thought I received an Instant 60 Proto. If it's live, I guess the Instant 60 is an option. It is for sale. Oh, nice. Oh my gosh, this is tight.
I just got my Instant 60 in the mail two minutes ago. Oh, okay. I did not know they were already shipping. No, it's not the PCB's fault. It's just, it's the Panda's fault. <laughs> Panda housings are, they are thick. They are thicker than your traditional cherry switches. So that's why every time I build with Holy Pandas, you'll see me struggling. Most, uh, most plates and PCB's are cut to accommodate cherry switches. Panda, pandas though are thick. Affordable tactiles you would recommend? Uh, depends on how much tactility you want. I like MX Browns. Um, Holy pandas aren't really that affordable. They're over a switch, or they're they're over a dollar if you make them yourself. Zelios are not affordable tactiles. They are also a dollar per. Topra, I wouldn't consider affordable as well. Unless you are okay with buying a second hand Topra board. How expensive are Mod M switches nowadays? Mod M tactiles are good if you lube it. Oh. Yeah, I mean even a even a second hand HHKB will run you at least I mean you could expect to pay around 180 I would say. That's like probably fair for a used HHKB. So Topra isn't that cheap. Um, I mean, I guess if you are on a, like if you're on an extreme budget, I guess Otemus are okay. I missed an HHKB for one hundred forty dollars. I missed GMK Olivia on Mech Market for like a hundred euros. Did you guys see that? Some, some. Some white knight of the community was unaware of how much GMK Olivia's can fetch. Sold. I th it was it was like 175 euros for like a 60% keyboard plus GMK Olivia. <laughs> that man had no idea how much he could have made. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I, I saw and then he edited the con he edited his post saying I have never had a, a sale this fast. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, good on him. Good on him. And good on whoever ended up purchasing it. Hopefully, whoever bought it will actually use the keycaps. He lacked the critical information. <laughs> Actually, though. <laughs> that's that's a pretty big Pepe hands moment. I, I if, if I were in his position, I would have been pretty tilted.
I'm pretty sure within that same day, someone, I, I think it was someone from like Thailand, they were offering 400 plus shipping for just the GMK Olivia base set. So I wonder how tilted he was when he saw that post. I sold 20 Bitcoin back when they were $25. Speaking of tilted, your right shift. Oh, that is very tilted. Why is it so tilted? There we go. Th thank you, Lightning. How do you even see that? You just. When you've built enough keyboard, you just see. You can tell by sight and uh, listening. Okay, it's yeah, I just have to solder it and then straighten it out. It's it's slowly turning away. Yeah. I mean you can you can like I I can sometimes just tell from listening that like a space bar is bad or Yeah that that happened that happened in a an Albert's channel actually. Check mod. What? There's nothing in mod. Oh, just kidding. There is. <laughs> are you are you colluding against me, Sorian? How do you keep switches aligned when you're soldering them? I've seen many custom boards that meet us where the switches are soldered on slightly crooked. How do you prevent this from happening? Um, so I do it on stream. How I straighten switches is as you heat up one of the pins, you twist the switch in the orientation you want. Sometimes you have to heat up both pins and like alternate between them, but that's what I do. I put keycaps on. Then I push the switch in the direction I want to straighten into while heating the pin so it has room to move around. Okay. Is there a noticeable difference between zeal stabs and cherry stabs? Uh, once you tune them, no. It's mostly an aesthetic difference, I would say. Hey there, I've heard about you on Sardosh's stream. I would like to get a mech keyboard, never tried at the moment, but what would you recommend? I was thinking about Ducky... Ducky Ch Chanel? Ducky Chanel, but don't know if it is worth the price or if I could get better, etc. Uh, if you're looking for a pre-built keyboard, I would recommend Leopold's if you can. They don't look as gamery and flashy as the duckies or razors but they are superior in build quality in my opinion and feel are ikbc good too yeah ikbc are commonly used as well Start soldering. I always start with the four corners first.
I should check this bottom row. <laughs> are my eyes deceiving me or are these not equally spaced? Mmm. They are not equally spaced. Wait, does this not support standard bottom row? Good thing I didn't solder. See, this is why you check. Did I put this in the wrong slot? Oh, it was in the wrong slot. There's one more next to it. There we go. <laughs> it is saved. The stream is saved. I mean, it's not the end of the world, though. I could have just desoldered. It's not a stabilizer I put in correctly. You put a stab in the wrong place, and that that's when you know you are done. What? <clears throat> Someone named Teha Vapes just followed me. We had Teha Dumps last night. We also had Teha only uses Razor Greens. Who's making all these alts? Who's making... Or... I don't like this. Why are people making alts? Do you recommend the solder sucker in your description? Yes, I have used it multiple times on stream. Um, it's also probably the most recommended uh, solder sucker, if not one of the most. A couple sponsors who make streams like this possible. The first sponsor we have is Dixie Mech. Head on over to dixiemech.com/slash Teha Types, where you can pick up GMK Mizu currently and some fantastic accompanying desk mats for it. Dixie Mech also has some keyboard apparel and stickers so consider purchasing those over at dixiemech.com slash tapes a lot of you guys ask where I get all my nice desk mats from Dixie Mech is one of them the next sponsor we have is KBD fans. KBD fans is the go-to place for entry-level and budget-friendly uh, keyboard kits. If you are looking to start your journey in the custom keyboard world, KBD fans is a great place to start. I believe SA Leviathan is also live on KBD fans, so join that if you are interested in that colorway. On over to kbdfans.cn. Next sponsor we have is Keycult. I am currently using one of Keycult's Key Keycult's Keycult's. English is my second language. Is it Keycult's or Keycult's? Keycult's. I'm currently using one of Keycult's keyboards. Um, they are going to be releasing a board soon TM. So if you guys are trying to budget things out, uh, do keep in mind the number one revision two is coming out soon TM. So be sure to budget wisely.
It's key cultures if you want to be proper. See, I knew I was being proper. Uh, the next monster we have is Kono over at Kono.store. Uh, Kono has tons of stuff. Ranging from entry budget friendly options to some enthusiast grade products. They have SA Granite currently live if you're interested. They have SA Arcane if you're currently interested. And I would highly recommend joining the newsletter for the Keystone keyboard with their upcoming silo switches. What? Smoth, thank you so much for the $10 tip. You're tired? You should drink some coffee, Smoth. Or maybe you should plan your next cosplay. The, uh, the next sponsor we have is Novel Keys. Head on over to Novel Keys to get um, sorry, um, they currently have new apparel, there's some new Novel Keys apparel, Novel Keys also proxies tons of keycap sets, there will be tons coming in June from Novel Keys, uh, what is it, is the, the SA Fluffy Fluffy Clouds, I think that went live, or is going to go live, forget what the email said. Uh, GMK Olive, going to be live June 1st on Novel Keys. The, these Yawk Panda housings are from Novel Keys, Novel Keys stocks tons of switches. Novel Keys and Dixie Mech also stock Taya Type stickers, so if you guys want to help support the channel. A little bit of those proceeds do go to me, so please consider adding. What? <laughs> Thank you so much for another ten dollars, Smoth. Yeah, your Sailor Moon was was quite something. <laughs> um, where was I? <laughs> yeah, a little bit of the proceeds of stickers do come to me. So if you are purchasing switches or apparel or keycaps, uh, consider just adding a sticker to your order. And if you do have, if you have purchased and received stickers, I would love to see where you guys stick them on. Feel free to tag me on my social media. I'd love to see what you guys do with it. And I do have a discount code with Novel Keys if you use the promo code NK Space Types. It will get you five percent off any in stock item. And it is reusable. It's not a one-time thing. Onslaught Gamer, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. The next sponsor we have is SwitchMod.net. SwitchMod.net is where I get all my lubes from. I have pretty much been using their lubes since I started my keyboard career. Oh, uh, just kidding. I started heavily using SwitchMod from, I think when 3 till 4 was released. But yeah, I've been using Pearl Bits Lubes for quite a while now. You guys know I recommend it. I do have a promo code for Switch Mod. If you use Tehap Types as the promo code, it will get you 4% off your orders. Once again, also reusable. Um, he is currently. What? Um, he is currently out of stock, but he will be restocking very shortly. 
Uh, Flood, thank you so much for the $15 tip. What the? Shout out to the previous and current Razor Green. <laughs> yeah, uh, Curlbit is out of stock, but he will be restocking soon TM as well. He is in the process of revamping his website and restocking. So yeah, just give him, give him a little bit of time. They should be up soon. And last but not least, we have zopc.net slash types zopc is where you can get this PCB from as well as some amazing switches he is currently having a 20% off sale not on all of his products but on a good majority of his switches so now would be a great time to stock up on zeal switches either for the sake of stocking up or if you were on the fence about the price tag uh, I don't think it gets much better than a 20% discount on Zeal's website so now is the best time to pull the trigger if you wanted to try some Zeal switches if you spend $150 or more and live in the States you do get free shipping I think for the rest of the world if you spend $200 or more it is free so head on over to zopc.net slash tier types place your purchases do you know how long the sale lasts I believe June 1st so not a lot of time I wouldn't be surprised if some switches are out of stock by then. There's a possibility. During the key cult section, be sure to budget wisely continues to show all his other sponsors' products. Yeah, I'm telling you, you got to budget wisely between all of those products. If you can't afford all of them, you got to got to budget wisely. into a promo code that convinces my wife what ooh I have a question guys would you guys buy how would you guys design a Teha types desk mat I want to make a desk mat I want to make a Teha types desk mat what do you think you guys would what do you think would be a good design for a Teha types desk mat Nice white desk mat. Your face. <laughs> you guys are just trolling me now. Like the milkshake desk mat, but with your logo all over instead of the X's and O's. Hey, a types redo desk. <laughs> your logo on the left, your face on the right. Like a mecha mat, but in Korean. Ooh, I would be down to have Korean writing on a desk mat. I don't think that's ever been done yet. That's a pretty good idea. If someone, 
anyone renders a nice Teha Types desk mat, I will purchase one for you if I end up going with that design. get that pink and blue that's hard though like I mean like I could use the Mr. Sleeves colors but it can be very tacky if not done right I don't want to just make it completely I don't want to just split it down the middle have it split between the two colors and call that a desk mat I want to do a little bit more Kim desk mat designed by Ronin. That'd be dink. I'm wearing I'm repping Ronin right now. I rep Ronin so much that they don't notice me. Yeah yeah. Pluto, I would do it tastefully. The day I put out a product that isn't done tastefully, you can slap me and let me know that I am in the wrong. Okay, I think I finished. Ordering. Let us taste. Not ta <laughs> let, let us test the mods for straightness. No, Pluto said tastefully, and I just this Freudian slip happened there. doing regular caps lock tab enter is messed up yeah enter most right side mods usually tend to be not straight. The left side usually requires minimal work for most builds, but yeah. Right shift. Oh my gosh, look at this right shift. <laughs> Where's my pipe key? It's not finished. Straightening is part of the process. Uh, I don't have an extra. Okay, I'll just yoink one from here after I fix the left side. What would you do if the stabs are scratchy? Uh, do you mean the state? Are you sure it's the stabilizer itself or the switch? It could be that the switch is scratchy. I would say replace the switch first. And then if that's not the case, you probably need to add some lube to the housing or the stem of the stabilizer. That will help with scratchiness. But yeah, it's possible that the switch might be scratchy.
Okay, left. Sh oh. Left shift needs a little bit of straightening. Talisman, hello! Giant big cartoon face across an otherwise subtle Tea types repeating logo pattern. Mm. Wait, big dumb? What is a big dumb cartoon face? <laughs> A big dumb cartoon face sounds more like a Kelly thing. <laughs> okay. I may I may have over straightened the shift now. The shift is too straight. that happen oh saved saved side looks straight oh. this right side is the, is the side that needs to work Haven't you crucified your Xbox Delete yet? Uh, I'll keep it around for a little bit. Okay, so pipe key is pipe key and backspace pretty straight. Enter and right shift though. Big no nos right now. straight one go this right shift though can I straighten this right shift what exactly are you doing with the soldering iron I am heating up one of the pins and then while twisting the switch and the keycap so I can straighten it 
but if you take a look right now, the right shift is still not straight. That's not straight. So while I'm heating up one of the pins, I am twisting the switch in the direction I want to straighten it. Or can I get one of the switch pullers? I have it linked in my Amazon storefront. If you do exclamation gear, uh, I should take you to my Amazon storefront page where I have it linked. Okay, this is the right shift. It's a little tough to straighten. Now it's too straight. Hold on. Do you happen to have any sound tests on unlubed Telios? Do I? I don't think I really. I don't think I've released a typing test of unlubed Telios. Is it possible to soldering it in one try and have it be straight all the time, or is that inevitable? Uh, with a universal plate, if that ever happens, you just got very lucky. Any Xylence V2 builds planned? Not that I know of. I do have a build VOD of a Xylence V2 build, though. That is up on my YouTube channel. Okay, enter actually not perfectly straight. Street. I think we are good to go. <sighs> Moment of truth. Oh, thank God, my eyes. My eyes are saved because we have switches installed now. Is it still worth it to make lubed ergo clears? Um, I would say so. Ergo clears feel different from Zelios. Uh, definitely not as tactile as Zelios, but if you like that level of tactility, ergo clears have kind of been forgotten about, but they're a pretty good switch. So this changes RGB. Oh, now it's completely off. <laughs> oh, it's back. What the heck is this mode? Okay, well, it works. This is the FN key. Okay, so it looks like everything works. Don't tell me this popped. Oh my, I'm so tilted it popped. How? I didn't even take this off. It popped. What? Hello? This keycap has literally not moved. 
How did this pop? Okay, saved. <laughs> saved. That is saved. <laughs> Zek and hey. <laughs> someone uh someone should take a keep counter of uh, how many times zeal stabs have popped on my streams. Wonder what the percentage is. the GMK dots interest check I have not but based off the name is that the one by bips if it's the one by bips it's probably a good set uh, yeah okay yeah, I, I do like that set I don't know if there's changes made to it but you gotta be careful with these steps so yeah bip bip does some real nice work Oh my, is this... This enter popped too, what the heck? Oh, saved. not really even an interest check is running June 1st on novelties. Azure Yolk, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Yeah, I'm, I feel like Bips doesn't really need. That dot set looked pretty nice. I don't think it needs an interest check. We need an emote that says saved. That would be a pretty good emote, actually. Alright. So, before we assemble this back, I put in a line of shelf liner for my field build. So we're going to do that. Is this... Oh, perfect. This is perfect width. This is this is very satisfying when you have a strip left over that fits perfectly. Foam liner, this is just some generic shelf liner I purchased off Amazon. It's nothing special. Ten hours cutting shelf liner.
what does the shelf liner do? It uh, it fills up. There's a little bit of empty space in here, so it fills that up. Makes the board sound a bit less hollow. You'll see, you'll often hear about people filling their boards up with shelf liner quite a bit. And then, gotta cut holes for the mounting posts. I believe there are. Five on the field, I think. Liang Elf, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. How are you feeling after that long ass stream? Oh, I'm pretty much recovered from that. I am pretty much recovered from that. Okay, got two of those done. Just another one here. One, two, and big three. And the remaining two are here. Oh, there's two more I lied. Drink. And then one last one over here. This one a little too big, but not too bad. What the heck is this? Oh, this is a mounting point. Not a mounting point. Tyler, hello. Yo, Tyler, why didn't you sleep? I saw your tweet. tweet. Did you get some sleep finally? After your tweet. All right, so you just woke up. Nice. All right, so we're gonna mount this here. Then we gotta screw these in. Does this does the feel with the DZ6? What? Okay. Are you saying does the feel work with the DZ60 PCB? Uh, yes, it should work with the DZ60 PCB. You should use a cutter next time. What do you mean by cutter? Thankfully, these screws are magnetic. Oh, exacto knife. I probably could use an exacto knife, yeah. I was unaware that the feel was PCB mount. Uh, did you mean tray mount? The feel is tray mount. I don't, a board cannot be, PCB mounted does not refer to the board. Had a bit of a busy week, but I am here now. Hey pizza, how are you doing? 
how are you doing? Unless it's PCB top mount. Okay. How long did you sleep after 30 plus hour stream? Oh, I slept for like 13 hours. <sighs> I think we are about done. So we have installed the shelf liner, built up the PCB and plate combo. What keycaps? I was thinking modern dolch. Do you guys want to put modern dolch on this or take a vote? What does chat say? We can't do Olivia. Olivia is currently on another board. I don't have Oblivion. Oblivion. Finally, a catchy live build. Always saw them on YouTube. How's it going? Hey, the gross, the gross one. Glad you could catch it live. Moto with red to match the yaks. Yeah, I feel like Moto could go pretty well with this. Let's see what modern bolt looks like. against this gray. sound of a pretty nice feel does that keyboard have RGB this one does yes the PCB does have RGB <laughs> Thank you so much for the 541 bits, Mr. Petrov. Red accents? Yeah, we can take a vote on the accents. Alright, I'm gonna go get my life together. <laughs> Tyler, have a good one. Hope you get some rest. Get some rest, Tyler. Ooh! Uh... Doodle Drew, thank you so much for the tier one sub. I never understood this. Why? What is the meaning behind this icon for caps lock? Like purse lock caps icon, I can understand. But what is this down arrow? It means you depress it to lock it. I see. Mmm, that makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. It's meant to indicate holding down shift. Is Dizzy here? No idea. He probably has a lot more important things to attend to. I did let him know I would be building it today, but... So 
is what happens when I lube switches. It sounds it feels dank. Good coating of lube or minimal? Uh, I would say a, a little less than good. Like if 10 was thick and 0 was thin, or let's say 0 was unlubed, and sorry, I take that back. 10 is un, 0 unlubed and 10 being overlubed, I would say this is around a 5 or 6. Space. Why does this? Oh, space bar. <laughs> space bar. Should we do flipped or non flipped? Is this dizzy like Apex Dizzy? Yes, it is the Apex Dizzy. Flip? Did I flip it in my original video? No, oh, sure. It is flipped in my original video. Uh, proximity, thank you so much for the three months in a row. Ooh, why is this so hard to... there's an accent honestly the gray feel might look good without the accents like this is a pretty nice match with the gray what do you guys say should I keep this completely gray or add the, f the accents I, I am digging this all gray theme preference what does chat say? Fix what? Can't can't disable sub. Wait, what? Oh my! What did you do, Soran? How do I disable chat only? <laughs> it bugged out. Okay. This guy, Soran, what is he doing? Add the accent. <laughs> Mr. Sleeves! Ooh! No, but Mr. Sleeves has the uh, black legend. So it would look off with this uh, white legend in color. If you put on accents, I'm leaving. Yeah, the gray actually looks really nice. It matches pretty well, I would say. Um, it's definitely, I think Oblivion is slightly darker, but this matches pretty well too, in my opinion. I don't think accents would look bad though. Might as well add accents. This is the feel with the red accent. What does chat say? Do you guys like this red accent? Mm -hmm. 
There's also... I could also do this. Dang, it's pretty split. Mint is better. We'll try mint. Because we put we didn't get to use the mint on the brutal 60 build. We'll just put on the accents for the sake of showing the accents. And then where's the accent space bar? I have an idea, ask Dizzy. I don't think Dizzy's in here. I haven't seen him speaking unless I missed it. Accent space? I don't know about accent space. That's a little too much mint. Did you band-aid mod your feel? I did not band-aid mod my feel, I believe. <laughs> that one does look bloody great. <laughs> Yeah, modern modern Dolch with this gray is pretty nice. Pretty nice. All right, so this is the finished build for today, guys. Here we have recreated the fill with holy pandas. It's pretty much one for one copy of my feel with holy panda build with the exception being this is actually using a better pcb <laughs> i think i was using the face what pc was i i think it's some um, i think it was the face w pcb i forget but it wasn't a good pcb my pcb was pretty scuffed um this is not using the Holy Panda, the OG Holy Panda it is using Yawk Holy Pandas, but they are pretty much identical. Uh, also using EPBT stabs. Spacebar looks weird. Yes, I flipped it. The spacebar is flipped. Uh, I'm just recreating it exactly. In the original typing video, I did flip my spacebar, so I decided to flip it for here as well. Um, the original build was using GMK Oblivion. This is using GMK modern dolch yeah are you trying a new mouse no well this is technically my original mouse i used to use the mx master before i switched to the trackball yeah any 625 spacebar uh was my i think my original build was with a 625 spacebar 2 oh no it's not i built mine with the sangan layout Oh, maybe I should have done that with this too. Not a big deal. I feel like for Dizzy, 625 is better. Uh, both well, thank you so much for the three months in a row with Twitch Prime sub. This is flipping the spacebar for ergonomic reasons. It depends on your typing style. Like as you can see, the way my thumb rests, this angling is actually more ergonomic for me. If I have it the other way, I'd be hitting the edge here. So it depends on your typing style. For some people, this is more ergonomic. For some people, it's not. Now that you said it, that spacebar is really bugging me out. <laughs> All right, let's see how this looks with the Zeal RGB. Ooh, it's pretty subtle. Ooh, this is a really pretty blue. I'm liking the blue. 
It's a pretty nice blue. I don't know what color scheme this is. Like the alphas are red currently with this setup. And then the mods are blue. Yo, this is actually kind of sick. I thought I, I, I was like WTF when this mode came on, but this is not a bad mode for RGB. Looks pretty nice. Fire and ice. Yeah, the, the blue and the red goes really well with the gray too, in my opinion. Ooh la la. Can we see it while it's dark in your room? Gamers don't need light. I just showed it if you want me to do it again. <laughs> uh, Arxit E, thank you so much for the 20 bits. All right, uh, can, should we get the words per minute bot started mods? What do people think I will type with this today? Ooh. The, the sounds are coming back. The, the, the good old days of my feel coming back. <laughs> no alt girl on moto. That is correct. I don't think there is an alt girl on GMK Modern Dolch. I don't see it at least. Well, keycap set. This is rocking the GMK Modern Dolch keycap set. All right, the bot is no longer. Oh, I forgot to pause the music. Ooh, ooh, oh shoot! Really, the good and not buying Madon Tulsi. Wild card. Thank you so much for the 500 bits. All right. Yo, this looks really nice. I like this. It's like very pretty, very pretty. All right. One of these away. How will this sound? Do you guys want angle one or angle two? One, two, one, two. I see a lot of ones. Nat Nat B, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. All right, let's see. I want to listen to this too. Three, two. Oh wait, I don't even have the window up. Three, two. Oh what? No! Oh, this is backface. This is backface. Redo, 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 redo. <laughs> oh, redo, 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 redo. This is backspace. Ah. Uh. Redo, redo. We do, we do. That's not good. That's not good. Uh, what? Uh, uh, not good. Not good. Not good.
おおおお136おおディズニーズキーボード makes me type faster confirmed all those redos were worth it for the 136 uh, Maya Papaya 3637 thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub all right let's go through the mods VD Peter, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Esto Muck, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. All right, let's do. I'm gonna do one more run. No, no guessing. Can I break 140? That was a pretty good run. I'm feeling pretty good. Can we break 140? New angle. Ah, we do it. I'm so nervous now. So bad, that's so bad. Okay, one last one, one last one. Third third time's a charm. We do we do. What the we do we do? What what is this no?
131. Dang. I started off so well and then I choked in the middle. I think if I didn't choke, maybe 140. That was maybe a 140. Yeah, I started off well and then I choked. <sighs> well, we broke 130 twice at least, so that's a good sign. That's a good sign. How do you guys like this build? Did we manage to recreate that build again? I think so, I think so. This is pretty nice. 130 is still 50 higher than my average. <laughs> Doesn't sound the same as the YouTube video. Uh, so the YouTube video was also filmed on a different mic, on a much cheaper mic. Yeah, don't, don't forget to jump the correct... That's already done. That's already done on this Pluto. I bought this second hand and the person... The, uh, the person already did all that, yeah. How much was this board all together? Pretty expensive. Oh, the feel sounds so good though. You guys hear this? The num row. Yeah, it did originally have a 7U space bar, but I mean, I feel like for a non-enthusiast, Sangen might not be the best. Um, this is going to Dizzy, so I'm going to guess he's most likely more familiar with the standard ANSI bottom row, so that's why I went with that over the 7U. But he will be using GMK keycaps, so if he ever wanted to rebuild it with a 7U bottom row, he definitely could. Won't have issues with compatibility there, but... Who uses Windows keys? I use the Windows keys so often. Ah, oh, okay, I see what you're saying, Pluto, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. I see, I see. I see what you're saying. But yeah, this is the completed build. So the field does take... It's a pretty... It accepts most universal tray mount 60% uh, plates and PCBs. So that's why you see the rather large opening for the USB port. But that's because it supports a bunch of universal options. Yeah, the feel is a beautiful piece of art. The bottom, I personally like this weight design. It's pretty clean, minimal, but it looks it looks nice. The feel was one of my first nice high-end customs. So a lot of emotional attachment there. Let us weigh. We didn't weigh this once it's fully built. So I think it weighed four four pounds ten ounces or something like that. So with keycaps and switches, this build weighs five pounds two point three ounces, or two thousand three hundred and thirty two grams. This is this is a hefty boy. Five pounds right here for a sixty percent. Pretty hefty. Yeah. Oh right, with the shelf liner too. Yes, that is correct. Um, I know Mechanisk is going to the 
Cleat Bay is already live. I don't think the Fial lineup is yet, but I would, would recommend. If you are looking for a tray mount, the Fial or the Cleat Bay are definitely very up there in terms of what you get. Was what Mobo? Mobo? What motherboard used? This does not have a motherboard. Uh, PC, if you're talking about PCB, this is using the Zeal 60 PCB. I uh, wasn't here when you started. Can you show Oblivion in comparison? I don't have Oblivion. I don't have Oblivion. Too bad the new Mechanisk logo is trash. Is there a new Mechanisk logo? Did he change his logo? Is that the new gray? Yes, so I believe this is the round two gray. This is not the round one feel. This is the round two gray. I wanted the feel, but shipping is pretty oof, so it's tofu for me. Yeah, shipping is going to be a little bit pricey. This moth link me Shopify. Oh, this is so dark, I can't see anything. <laughs> I can't see anything with all the light hitting my monitor right now. About to get some new switches for my mass drop control keyboard. I was wondering if you have any recommendations for good linear switches that sound smooth. Uh, Novel Keys Creams are pretty good. Gatoron Inks are pretty good. Telios are pretty good. They're all pretty good linears, but I would recommend looting them if you can. I wish the Fiel had a 65% variant. Ooh, that would be interesting. 65 is. There's a lot of 65s coming out. I feel like 65s are becoming pretty popular. It'd be pretty cool to see a 65 variant of the feel. 65 is a pretty hot layout right now, in my opinion. How do I send Link? You have to be a sub. All right, well, that is, that is it for today's build i will be streaming tomorrow as well 3 30 p.m pacific time hopefully mr dizzy likes this i don't know how much experience dizzy has with custom keyboards but the feel definitely if he has no experience with custom keyboards is going to wow him wow him i mean just the sheer weight of this too uh, step up. Holy Pandas, pretty nice switches as well. Fiel is going to be pretty nuts for a first custom. Yeah. Pretty nuts. Pretty nuts. Best tray mount design. Yeah, I mean, Fiel definitely one of the best tray mounts I have felt. Is the backspace? Uh, yeah, but this keyboard is fully reprogrammable, so I'm gonna program that off stream. Uh, I'm gonna ask Dizzy what layout he wants so I could flash it for him ahead of time. Yeah. Where are the other 240 lube tactiles? It is still 300. That does not. That 300 did not include the 60. So I lubed these. I have another hundred. Yeah, there are. There's still 300 left. What sort of money does this thing cost you? Uh, this build is pretty expensive. The keycaps alone will run you around... Or if, you, if you're copying this build exactly, the keycaps alone will run you around 150 on average. The switches used will run you a little over a dollar each. And there are roughly 60-ish switches in here. 
and the case used today you would have to find it in the aftermarket and currently in the aftermarket I think the feel probably fetches three to four hundred I don't know um, and then the PCB we used also very expensive the PCB alone was around hundred twenty dollars ish so yeah, this is a pricey build Tomorrow's build is going to be very good as well if you guys are tuning in tomorrow. It's going to be a very nice build tomorrow. ZL60 is 120 plus. Yes, the ZL60 is very expensive. Did you see GMK dots? I did. What does lube mean when talking about a mechanical switch? It means someone opened the switch up and then applied lubricant to the points of friction within a switch. Alright, any final questions, comments, concerns? <sighs> In terms of sound with Lou, what do you think sounds better, Telios or Gator on Inks? I think Gator on Inks sound nicer than Telios. If you're not into RGB, is the ZL60 worth the price premium over a DZ60? Any other reason to get it? Uh, no, not really. The, the ZL60 is probably going to last you longer. It is, I would say, better built in my opinion, but the DZ60, um, perfectly decent option too. Alright, who can we raid? Uh, would you ever make a video on how to build a keyboard? I would if I have the time. That's the that's the big issue. I don't have the time. I don't have the time. Ooh, we have whoops online. Should we raid whoops? Should we raid whoops? L we can raid Lily. Lily Pichu. Build stream is basically a video on how to build a keyboard. Yeah, that is also true. If you are interested, if you want to know how to build a keyboard, you could honestly watch any of my VODs. <laughs> Lily has 10 minute only follower mode. What is Lily doing? Oh, right, they're at Seattle. What is Whoops doing? Oh, Whoops is playing some kind of rhythm game. Let's give Lily a raid. We're gonna go raid Lily. We can't spam because it is Lily. But we will send her our regards. Once again, I will be streaming tomorrow at 3.30 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, please be sure to follow me on my other socials if you are interested. Um, yeah, and I'll give you guys an update on what Dizzy says about this. Hopefully he likes it. Hopefully we have brought him into the mechanical keyboard community. Yeah, we'll see what he, we'll see what he thinks about this. Is, is the feel with Holy Pandas worth? Will he feel like his money was worth it? Or will he charge me back? And will I be losing money? <laughs> I'm just kidding, I doubt he'll do that. <laughs> he, seems, he seems like a really nice guy. And a chill guy. <laughs> Can you imagine the sadness though? If he uh, charged me back. <laughs> he was like, this is not worth. And then he just... He just brings down the mechanical keyboard community in one big sweep. Don't waste your money on a feel. No, but I'm, I'm sure he's gonna love this. The feel, fantastic keyboard. All right, 
we are going to go over to Lily's channel. So I will see you guys all tomorrow. So thank you everyone for watching. And until then, see you nerds.